find that it's a little bit too sharp, you could soak them in um, ice water for about 10 minutes, drain them and pat them dry, and it takes some of the sharpness out of the onions, and it's nice if you want something that's really, really mild. Just give it a taste for salt and pepper. It's perfect. This cucumber salad will remind you of springtime any time of the year. There's so many different cuts of meat. It can be really confusing. I'm here today with my friend Steve, my neighborhood butcher, and he's going to try to demystify all of these different cuts for us. What's your favorite steak, Steve? My favorite's the boneless ribeye. And why do you like that so much? More fat, more flavor. That's a pretty simple rule, yeah. right? And then what do we have that. here? That's porterhouse. And what's the difference between the porterhouse and the Delmonico? They look almost similar. Almost. They follow each other. The Delmonico doesn't have a filet. It tapers down off of the... So this would be the filet right here. That's the filet. Which is this here. Yep. And this is the whole piece. That's the whole filet. piece. Now why is this the most expensive cut of meat? Most tender. Most tender. Strictly most tender. Most tender. I mean, it's a big piece of meat, very, so it's very, not that it's very short. Very, very, very lean, very tender. Very good. <laughs> and then what is this sirloin? That's a sirloin. Now, this could be done on the grill inside or out on the grill. Broil it. Broil it. This Broil is what, it if you want to ruin This it. is probably what I grew up on, but my father used to call it a London broil. Is that right? London broil is more of a type of way to cook as opposed to a cut. But a London broil piece of meat, if you went into the store and asked It would be a top brown steak. It would be a top brown steak. And then what about this? This is the flame. Flame steak. You like to grill that or? You marinate it for a good 24 hours. You can put it on the grill. It's good for fajitas. Very nice. Very nice. And this looks tough. So what do we do with this? <laughs> Slow cook it? This is a brisket, right? Brisket. First cut. And what does the first cut mean? Is that just a top cut? The first cut, if you have the second cut, you have back in here, you have a big wad of fat. So that's totally, that's, totally that's good. That's hamburger. Yep. Okay. So this is so tough that we want to stew this long and slow. Stew it. Little water, <laughs> just let it cook. Perfect. And then down here we have uh, this is the top round, and this is the bottom round. So how are these on, on the cow itself? You're making me shake the cow. Yeah. <laughs> they're back here, back of the cow. So that's why they're also meant to cook long and slow. Well, top round is good oven roast, right? Cook it at 300, about 350 degrees. Uh, the bottom round, cook it at the top roast. <laughs> slow cook it in the This is beautiful. Well, thanks. Texture that you like. 